published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And welcome back to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Sound of Freedom movie, breaking records and doing such a great job there uh, in the theaters. Jim Caviezel, Tim Ballard, uh, Sound of Freedom. Uh, we're going to talk about that uh, here in just a moment and also some of the other uh, local area expert contributors. Uh, we've got a new team uh, making their debut to the show, uh, Step by Stage uh, Interiors. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, staging properties, how to maximize the value and the, the profitability when you're selling real estate, especially for vacant properties. Uh, we've got a couple of expert home interior designers and stagers on the program as well. And Brandon Faust in the house, B. Faust, uh, Mold Solutions uh, USA. Mold Solutions USA is your local uh, mold expert here in Tampa Bay. We're going to talk with Brandon Faust about his company and how he's uh, saving uh, you know families uh, from these health hazards that, that that are quite frankly in these different homes and uh, commercial buildings any type of building can have mold especially in this subtropical climate uh, that we are here uh, here in Tampa Bay and I uh, want to jump right into a couple of our hot listings here we got some great real estate opportunities for you if you're thinking about buying selling or investing in real estate we'd love to talk to you uh, my wife Lindsay and I own and operate a top 100 ranked real estate team here in Tampa Bay maximizing the exposure and the profit on the sale of your real estate 861 Mandalay Avenue this is Clearwater Beach million dollar listing beautiful property on the north side of Clearwater Beach two bedrooms two bath you have sleek quartz countertops gorgeous stainless steel appliances uh, you have a jetted tub full shower elegant charming pergola 900 square foot screened in covered patio and the best part about 861 mandalay avenue is that you are 200 steps from the sugar sand beaches and dolphin filled waters of Clearwater Beach and the Gulf of Mexico, one of our hot listings on the residential side. All right, we also do commercial properties. So we've got a commercial property here at 7202 U.S. Highway 301 South in Riverview. This is a uh, property that has two separate structures. You have a muffler shop, mechanic shop, and then you also have a barber shop there. So it's operating currently as a barber shop, uh, but of course that could be changed into uh, any type of real estate, mortgage, title, insurance, all types of professionals, attorney's office, 7202 U.S. Highway 301 South. This is a corner lot location, 50 plus thousand vehicles a day passing by. Great opportunity and the price is right as well. So check out all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, so we've got Brandon Faust in Studio Mold Solutions. I want to start off just a little bit about the conversation around the Sound of Freedom movie. And if you haven't heard of the movie, it's based on an incredible true story, shines a light on even the darkest of places. After rescuing a boy from ruthless child traffickers, a federal agent learns the boy's sister is still captive and decides to embark on a dangerous mission to save her. And he actually leaves his job uh, with the government, uh, the Department of State, I believe. And the actor is Jim Caviezel. Diesel does a great job of playing uh, Tim Ballard, but the real story is the the, the the behind the scenes here, as it is often in our uh, cultural, uh, you know, they say cultural, culture leads politics in a lot of ways, right? You, you hear, you can see that kind of through the different types of music and uh, the, the different types of activism, uh, but this Sound of Freedom one is just, to me, it's cut or dry, it's good or evil, it's left or right, it's it's the, you're on the right side of the, 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 of the uh, solution, or you're on the wrong side, and you're you're working towards uh, you're you're in, in enabling the the problem like our open southern border is but this was an interesting story out of yahoo i believe this was from yahoo finance sound of freedom here's the title sound of freedom spotlights trafficking but at the expense of survivors voices okay so all right what, what do we mean here what is this going into so the sound of freedom hit the theaters july 4th approaching now a hundred million dollars in ticket sales uh the movie produced by angel studios co-founded uh, it tells the story of Tim Ballard, uh, nonprofit organization Operation Underground Railroad, uh, dramatically recovering victims of human trafficking. Now, 
when you go, the point that I'm getting to and that they are making here, or trying to make, uh, which bears no weight at all, in my opinion, uh, it goes on to talk about how the anti-trafficking movement has come a long way in the last two decades and elevating survivors' voices to tell their own stories, and she has in, qu in quotation, or not. So rather than having the, quote, rescuers speak for themselves, sometimes without permission, we have moved past language like voice for the voiceless, survivors have a voice, and we can best honor them by listening, not speaking for them. So, anyways, you know, it's like, what's the term? No good deed will go unpunished, Brandon. Absolutely. You know, so they, so they, you know, they come up with these ideas and these story, and they try to downplay and downspin these these awesome, you know, efforts that these guys put together. And I mean, it's just a great movie, great theme, and it's a, it's an American theme, it's an international theme of you know the the worst people in our community or our our human you know the human condition is these traffickers oh i mean i don't think that there's anything that's worse and i think that's part of the reason that tim's being attacked the way that he is yeah because when you really look at what he's doing and he's putting his life on the line for children and the fact that that's something that's attackable yeah like why would that even go in that direction and exactly. it really makes you wonder okay why are you spinning it in that direction? There's not yep. a spin here. This is not something that should be, you know, Republican or Democrat. This is a exactly absolutely universal truth that children should not be trafficked. And to question whether or not that's actually taking place yeah. is absurd, you know. Yeah. And I have a interesting background on this particular topic because, you know, before I got into mold, I was doing a lot of photography. So I was actually doing photography for some of these nonprofit, you know, companies or nonprofit organizations is really what they are. And I was allowed to get exposure to some of these topics in terms of Operation Underground Railroad, where I did an event where he spoke in Los Angeles back in 2015 uh, with other celebrities. And even prior to that, you know, I had basically been, you know, my eyes were opened up to this concept of human trafficking and yeah. it being one of the largest black market industries on the planet i think it's the third highest producing black market industry on the planet not you know next to drugs and weapons it's you know children and people yeah and right. it's close to actually overcoming because children can be resold a, a you know a kilo of coke can't right so it's one of the most heinous things it's hard to even comprehend it's hard to talk about you know most people you bring it up at a you know dinner conversation they're going to want to change the, the topic so the fact right. that sound of freedom has actually put it in the spotlight, and we're now talking about something that I think is extremely vital. Yeah. And probably one of the, my, in my opinion, is probably the most important film that's been produced in our lifetime. I, th I like that. Right. That's really like, good. Truly. Because it actually, yes, it's entertaining. Yes, it's gripping. Yes, it's emotionally like you're going through this. But most important, it's shining a light on something that, that there's so much darkness yeah. and so much evil that people actually have to they have to know what's going on so that yeah. we can actually do something about it to make sure that that never happens like that it stops you know right. as a father of a four-year-old and you know soon yeah. to be six-year-old right it, it hits home it resonates so much and yeah. you think about kind of being in that position yeah like we got to end this it really does you know yeah. it's been going on for decades and decades and it's yeah. probably the secret you know, there's more people enslaved today than there has been at any time on the planet. You know, and that's not even, you know, you think about China, too, with the Uyghur Muslims over there. Uh, a couple of other points I wanted to make, and then we're going to get to your business of mold solutions uh, here in Tampa Bay. Uh, but, you know, another point that I heard throughout these series of interviews I've seen is that uh, I believe it was Disney that originally bought the rights and they buried the film for, I think, around three years. They didn't want it out. They they just held on to it. Oh, yeah. You know, they didn't let it out. And, and, and you know, finally, they were able to buy it back, get it out there. Angel, thanks to Angel uh, Studios. And then secondly, uh, there's also a lot of theaters that are all of a sudden mysteriously having sound issues or all of a sudden uh, fire alarms. And then also the uh, air conditioning systems going out in very warm areas of the country. Right. So coincidence or not? Right. You know, I, I think it's one of those things that, you know, you can kind of go down a conspiratorial trail. But as we've recently found out, I think a lot of the people that talk about conspiracy theories were there maybe just that's another way to debunk or to defame somebody that's talking truth exactly right Cause, exactly you know and it makes me it really makes me wonder the people that are getting attacked by the mainstream media right are these the guys that we really should be supporting are these are the probably the good guys exactly so if the mainstream media is attacking that individual that organization 
were trying to do some sort of slander campaign, then you really should look beyond behind the curtain yeah. because that's probably a good organization that has the you know pure intentions of helping. Exactly. And I think that that's really probably a yardstick to, that yeah. would be useful. Yeah, you're over the target. Yeah. You're over the target when they come after you. Yeah, because if they are if they're attacking you, they're no they're no longer ignoring you. Exactly. It means that they you've done enough good. Yeah. Right. Because Tim wasn't being attacked five years ago. Right. Right. He was doing what he was doing, but he wasn't being attacked. Now all of a sudden he's being attacked. Yep. Because now he's in the limelight. Now That's he's right. gone past that threshold where like we need to actually attack this guy. Yeah. And there's a number of people in the last 10, 15, 20 years maybe even longer, that have been attacked and have not been able to stand up to the might of the media machine. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of great points there. And I think, you know, key a key point here also is that more and more people are getting away from the mainstream media liars and going to getting their information from podcasts, from great companies like Salem Media, from, you know, all of our different show hosts or a Joe Rogan or a, a Ted Cruz. You know, I heard him say his podcast, his average podcast gets a million viewers. That's more than any primetime show on CNN. <laughs> well, I think it shows that people are waking up. Exactly. You know? So whether you whether you like Trump, you don't like Trump, whether you think he's, you know, whatever, I can tell you one contribution he made that will forever be, we would be indebted to. Exactly. Is fake news. That's right. Right? Fake news. Yeah. And now people are looking past the news and they realize that, you know what, there's a mainstream media machine that is pumping us probably full of a lot of lies. That's right. And I think I first heard that term back in 2015. Right. You know, so think about that eight years ago. Right. He was he was the, the one first standing. one right. beating that drum of fake news. Uh, OK, we're talking with Brandon Faust here in studio, uh, Mold Solutions USA. What's new with your business, Brandon? I mean, we're busier than you can imagine. Um, we've run into a lot of situations that I wanted to talk about um, just recently with the humidity levels and the rain, uh, because what most people don't realize is that when the rain comes in, it drops the temperature. Mm. So the hotter the air, the more moisture droplets the air can hold. So when you have this deep fluctuation of mm -hmm. temperature, you can wind up with a lot of water on surfaces. So if your AC goes out and or there's something wrong with your AC or you're out of town for a month, we've had probably five or six calls, you know, with people that it's a garden in their in their condo or in their home wow. where there's enough moisture just in the air where mold is growing on all their items, their furniture, their couches, their beds. Mm. And that's a really um, – that's a difficult one because that particular type of mold, aspergillus, is a toxic mold. It releases um, mycotoxins that are poisons from, um, from mold, from fungus, and it is definitely has a serious health impact. So it's wow. not something that you just want to call in a cleaner and get it wiped down because those spores – and that poison, that poisonous substance is still lingering in that home. And then you can cross-contaminate the right. air conditioning unit. You can inhale it. You can breathe it in. And then you, there's long-term health effects that most people are not thinking with in terms wow. of like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, even cancer. Mm. And the, I think that the amount of uh, health impact that mold has is something that has really flown under the radar. Yeah. For many years. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just had yesterday's show, we had uh, Fred DeFelice, water quality expert, water science at U.S. I mean, it's it's kind of similar, right? Very Cause similar. You're, you're talking about, th you know, things you can't see in the air, these mycotoxins, and then he's talking about things you can't see in the water. Correct. Uh, but it's, you know, it's there. It's it's uh, it's interesting, too, uh, because he talks about chlorine and chlorines and uh, all these different uh, microplastics in the water. Right. But uh, you the, the number one uh, drug, uh, pharmaceutical drug in the water is the um uh viagra yeah it's not, it's not <laughs> surprising crazy? right yeah the, you know, these micro levels but you know viagra is the one you know well that's part of it is that you the water is contaminated yeah so you know when you think about it would you eat contaminated food would you drink you right. know clearly dirty water right you know well you're breathing in a lot of contaminated air yeah. why just because you don't know that yeah. just because you don't know doesn't mean that it's not a problem right and unfortunately what we have here in florida with this subtropical climate like you're talking about there's so much moisture you know that's running across the the coils of an ac system mm -hmm. and then the ac system itself is producing moisture it's pulling water droplets from the air but then it's concentrating it on the coils you get that condensation right so then that blower wheel is kicking up that that moist air and it goes into this box that is create you know that's made of fiberglass and it's uh, porous so you you basically have a sponge connected to your ac system that all the air is moving across that winds up with microbial growth 
And it's not just mold, it's also bacteria, wow. right? So mm. it's, and that's part of it, is that our treatment, when we're doing what we do at Mold Solutions, we're not just treating for mold, we're also treating for other microorganisms, including viruses and bacteria. And so people see a lot of benefit that they didn't even expect from it. Let's, th- let's take a quick break there, but when we come back, I want to, I want to touch on the top three or four ways that you can actually uh, find out, understand, and things to look for, what to look for to see if you might have, you know, can you smell it or, or do you, do you have physically have to see it? Uh, more with Brandon Faust, Mold Solutions uh, USA right here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And the second half of our show is going to be awesome too. We've got our new, uh, one of our new show partners as well, Step by Stage Interiors. We're going to talk about home staging interior design uh, here coming up on the Consumer Quarterback Show. So stay with us. Follow us online at Brandon Rhymes One, at CQB Show, Instagram, all the major socials. And of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Brandon Rhymes Realty. We'll be right back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man, Brandon Rhymes. All right, welcome back. This segment is brought to you by Replenish IV Solutions, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, for boosting your immunity, I would highly recommend you stop in and say hello to Stephen and Lisa Gunnan over at their locations, multiple locations in Tampa Bay, or they'll come to your home or office. Replenish IV Solutions. Solutions.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, coming up more with Brandon Faust. We're going to answer the question is what are the best ways to find out if you have mold uh, in your home or real estate properties? Uh, before we do, just a hot listing here, a couple of hot listings in Tampa Bay, 605 Monterey Avenue in Clearwater. Uh, we have a gorgeous single family home and you have a, a great location here in uh, centrally located in Clearwater. Uh, Close proximity to a lot of shopping, of course. Three bedrooms, two baths, 2163 square feet, non-flood zone. And it's a beautiful screened-in pool with a great... Uh, Lanai, spacious Lanai there, 605 Monterey Avenue in Clearwater, uh, one of our hot listings from the Platinum MVP team. Uh, also, uh, we have a property here. we got a $13 million co-listing on Pebble Creek. This is a co-listing with our friends in Orlando, uh, the Meraki Group. Uh, Pebble Creek Court, $13 million, 100 acres, prime development opportunity. Excellent location for short-term rental community. Close to Disney, Universal, SeaWorld, downtown, and more. $13 million listing from the Platinum MVP team uh, with the Meraki Group, actually, in Orlando. They are uh, the listing lead listing agents on that. It's the Meraki Group, Keller Williams in Orlando. You can see all of our real estate listings online. PlatinumCoastalElite.com Bye, Dirk. Find the one you can't live without. All right, Brandon, how, what are the best ways to find out how if we have mold or not? I think the most important one of all is the the people test. How do you feel in the home? You know, if you're in the home and then you go on vacation and all of a sudden you feel different, then I would start asking the question, is my home making me sick? Right. Also, obviously, with your loved ones, your kids. So that that's the one that I think is overriding most important. Um, beyond that, you can go, well, is there a smell? If there's a musty smell, if somebody comes and visits your house and they're like, uh, they may not want to say it, but let's say you do right. have a little bit of a musty smell. As soon as you walk in, it's really the first five, ten seconds because otherwise your nose will go nose blind. Similar to like you walk into somebody's, you know, an older person's house, it might smell a little bit different, mm-hmm. right? They don't notice it at all. Right. right. Because they've been living there. Exactly. You know? So the smell is one of the things, but um, beyond that, it's also really knowing what to look for. There is a pattern that mold has, and most people know about black mold or stachybotrys, that's the technical term for it, but they don't know that there's white molds, there's green molds, there's brown molds, there's purple, green, you know, you name it. It's all the colors of the rainbow. But, you know, knowing what to look for in terms of the pattern is a really important factor. So that's where you would want to call somebody in that's a professional, and we do offer free environmental consultations to homeowners in Tampa Bay or property owners in Tampa Bay, we will come and take a look and look in all the different hotspots. But let's say you didn't want us to come out, you know, right out the gate. Well, you can look in the places that we're going to look. Uh, For one, the AC unit. We also have an AC license, so we're able to open that up, take a look and see what's going on. Um, You know, the cabinets, inside the cabinets, there's uh, where there's faucets, but just sometimes because of the lack of airflow, Mm -hmm. you can see, you know, spots starting to grow on the inside of cabinets where it's kind of dark and potentially damp, you know, where that ventilation is not good. Uh, Attic and crawl space. I mean, the crawl space, if you have space under your home, is two feet, you know, three feet of space where that uh, airflow is not always great and you get that hot musty air or hot you know wet air moving up and it hits the planks that raw wood and mold loves it down in the crawl space Mm. so looking for that white discoloration that's a because a lot of the 
air, if you have a crawl space, about 50, uh, 50% of the air you breathe actually comes from the crawl space alone. Wow. You know, is so, it dark places that will increase the mold or is it sunlight hitting it, helping it? Or, or how does that? So dark because mold darker. does not like UV. Got it. Right. It does not like the ultraviolet lights. Got it. So you, if you were to think like a mold spore, if you will, mm-hmm. right, where would you go? Where would you land? You know, mm-hmm. under a table, you know, in the crawl space, behind a cabinet. One place that we find it a lot is behind paintings or behind pictures, mm. you know, because you got the paper on the back of the, the pictures. So it, baseboards. Yeah, behind baseboards. Yeah. So you just want to find places where there's, you know, the material that mold wants to eat, which is usually organic. It's fibers, it's leather, it's paper, it's wood, mm. you know, places where mm. moisture is going to come in, you know, whether that's from a leak, from a faucet, from, you know, humidity, from condensation. Got These it. are all the places you want to look, you know, and have us come yeah. out because we know what to look for. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get the consultation. Come uh, get the, the, the inspection that uh, Brandon's offering, Mold Solutions. Uh, you can call or text 727-263-3707. Call or text the hotline 727-263-3707. i got to slow it down. Sometimes I get feedback. The listeners are like, hey, you're saying the, 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 the <laughs> number's too fast. Okay, 727 727- 263-3707 online at consumerqb.com Brandon Faust, always a pleasure man. No, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming in and, and that was great uh, what you shared too about the sound of freedom. I mean what a what a great movement in this country right now. It needs to happen. It, it does. Yeah. Alright hey, uh, always good stuff uh, with B. Faust in the house. Coming up Patrick and Ann Furlow, Step by Stage Interiors. Uh, we're going to talk about home staging, interior design and uh, making their debut. Also how you can get your home sold faster for more money utilizing home staging. We'll be right back here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. Mm-hmm.